Call ratio spread. A call you construct a call ratio spread by buying one at the money call and selling two or more calls further out of the money. You use a trade like this when you expect the market to make a slight move up, but there is potential for the market to either go sideways or make a significant move down. The objective is to put this trade on as a credit or a free trade or very, very cheap. If the trade is done as a credit, the profit is limited on the downside to the premium collected. Profit on the upside is limited to the difference between the long and short calls. The risk on the trade is if the market expires below the long call, your risk is limited to any premium paid for the spread, if it was a debit spread. Holding more short calls than the long, upside risk is limited, unlimited rather, above the short calls. Having unlimited risk, this trade needs to be watched very closely. As you can see here, we've constructed a 1 by 2 call ratio spread in March wheat. We're buying a 330 call and selling two 350s. Now, we got filled on the trade at a $100 credit. That means that this trade will make money, will be a profitable trade anywhere below this reverse break even. How we calculate the reverse break even is we take the, um, the distance between 350 and 330, which is 20 cents, and you add the premium collected, in this case, 2 cents. So in other words, at 372, from 372 on down, this trade will be a profitable trade. At 372 or above, at 372 even, it's a reverse break even and you start losing money out of pocket. However, let's say the market goes, continues to go down, you would still make $100 on the trade if it's below 330 come option expiration. If the market is at above 330, you'll make the intrinsic value all the way up to 350. So in other words, this trade will make 20 cents from 330 up to 350. You'll gain 20 cents of intrinsic value. As it crosses 350, you'll start losing that value at the same rate you made it. So in other words, you'll make 20 cents from 330 to 350 or $1,000. And as you go higher, you'll be losing the profit you gained. So let's say the trade, as an example, it's at 360 come option expiration, which is the purple line. Well, you'd have made 20 cents on your long call and lost 10 cents on your short call for a net gain of 10 cents. Again, though, this is a, an excellent type of trading strategy where you feel the upside is limited on the market uh, because if the market continues to go down, you can still make money. If the market goes sideways, and it's, you know, somewhere, let's say it's below 350, you know, anywhere below 350, you could still make money. Or anywhere, actually 372, uh, where your reverse break even is. So the trade will make money in an up, down, or sideways market, as long as the market doesn't go above 372. We'll see how this trade does. As the market goes down, you can see any of the losses experienced in the long 330 call are offset by the gains in the 350 puts. The gains being uh, they're losing, the 350 puts or calls are losing their value, uh, thus making, you know, offsetting the losses in the 330. As the market comes back, the trade is still maintaining its integrity. And as you can see, the market, even though in a sideways market, this trade is still making money. The content of this program does not constitute investment advice. This program is to help enlighten you to the opportunities for further education and training techniques by industry leaders. This should not be considered as a solicitation to buy, sell, or invest in securities, options, futures, or forex. Remember, trading does involve the risk of loss. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Stocks, futures, options, and forex trading is not suitable for every investor. Please consult a professional regarding your financial situation before placing a trade.